Hello friends and welcome back to Swati's tutorial. Uh, once again, I'm here with the continuation of our topic. Uh, we were dealing in the previous class about what is abortion and we have learned already about what are the types, what are the etiological uh, causes of abortion and what are the clinical manifestations of abortion. In this video, I will be discussing about the types of abortion and we will be taking two types of abortion in this video. One is threatened abortion and the other one will be inevitable abortion. So let's start with our class. So threatened abortion is basically a type of spontaneous abortion. Spontaneous means the abortion which happens by itself. So threatened abortion is a type of abortion which happens by itself without being induced medically. And from the name threatened, what do we understand? Threatened means fear or there is a fear of abortion to happen. Means there is chances that the abortion can happen, but it has not yet happened. Hence the name threatened abortion. That means there's a threat that abortion can happen anytime. The symptoms show that abortion can happen anytime, but it has not yet happened. You still have time to save the baby. Moving on to the definition of threatened abortion. It says that it is a clinical entity where the process of abortion has started, but not yet progressed to a state from which recovery is impossible. So this is exactly what I have already told you. It is a type of abortion in which the process of abortion has started, but it has not progressed to the state from which recovery is impossible. You still have time to recover the pregnancy if proper medical management has done. Now let's talk about what are the clinical findings of threatened abortion. So if a lady suffers from threatened abortion, she will experience symptoms in the following order. Okay. In the beginning, there is amenorrhea. Amenorrhea means the absence of menstrual cycle, which is also the first and foremost finding that you are pregnant when you lack your menstrual cycle. So lady will be having amenorrhea in the beginning. Then suddenly she will start with bleeding. So it will be not uh, so much bleeding, profuse bleeding. It will be a little amount of bleeding, which shows that the suppression has started, followed by pain. Last, she will be suffering from pain, but not the severe type of pain as you experience in labor. This is mild pain in your back or lower abdomen as of menstrual cramps. The same type of pain you will experience in the clinical findings of threatened abortion. So these are the symptoms. So whenever a lady in the first trimester experiences the symptoms of pain and bleeding, she should immediately report to hospital for further investigation and diagnosis. And whenever she shows herself to the medical officer, she will be prescribed with a variety of investigations. That would be basically blood investigation, ABO, grouping, cross match, RH incompatibility. She will she has to provide a detailed history, medical surgical history, and the doctor will also prescribe an ultrasonogram to find out the fetal condition and well-being. Ultrasonogram plays a vital role in the management protocols in this type of abortion because through ultrasound we will be able to know the well-being of the fetus and if you find that the fetus is still alive and doing good that means there's still chances and we have to preserve the pregnancy and go with the management and if the baby is already dead inside then we have to go with termination of the pregnancy there is no other way. So once through ultrasound it is confirmed that the baby is alive and is doing good, the next part which we have to do is try our best to preserve the pregnancy and avoid the further suppression of the baby. So for that what we need to do is the first thing is the woman should be in strict bed rest. She should not be allowed to move around a lot because the more she moves the more is the chances of suppression of the placenta. The lady should also forbid from any kind of sexual activity for the prescribed duration of time. She has to take progesterone injection to strengthen the attachment of the baby, the uterus. And the last is she can be prescribed with sedatives and analgesics to reduce the uterine contraction and hence preventing the abortion. Moving to the next type of abortion that is inevitable abortion. Inevitable from the name what we understand is inevitable is something which cannot be changed. So in this type of abortion, the process has the abortion process has progressed to such a point that you cannot save the baby. The pregnancy cannot be continued further. That means the baby is not alive. You have to terminate the pregnancy and remove the fetus. 
so let's read the definition it says that it is a clinical type of abortion in which changes have progressed to a state from which continuation of pregnancy is impossible okay so that's just the opposite of threatened abortion in threatened there were chances to save the baby but in inevitable you don't have any scope the baby is not alive you have to go with termination of pregnancy going forward to what are the clinical features in inevitable abortion the first thing is the patient will have the same features as that of threatened abortion but the symptoms will be little more severe like the vaginal bleeding will be more as compared to that of threatened abortion and the pain will also be more severe and the general condition of the patient is proportionate to the visible blood loss that means how much is the blood loss the same will be the condition of the patient and the last one if you do internal examination or per vaginal examination of the lady you may feel that the os has started to dilate these are the clinical features in inevitable abortion so management of a lady who had an inevitable abortion is basically removing the fetus from the mother so for that we have three principles for management the first one is take appropriate measure to look after the general condition that means at first we have to focus on stabilizing the condition of the mother like if she has severe bleeding and all we have to do blood transfusion and stabilize the condition of the mother first and after the mother is stabilized next thing which we need to keep in mind is accelerate the process of expulsion of the fetus so we have to fasten speed up the process of expulsion by giving medicines like oxytocin and the last one is maintain strict asepsis that means we don't want to cause a septic abortion we don't want to cause infection in the mother so follow strict aseptic protocols finally let's discuss about the management of inevitable abortion in the active treatment inevitable abortion is classified into two that is management before 12 weeks and management after 12 weeks if the pregnancy is less than 12 weeks the management protocol says we have to go for dnc that is dilatation and evacuation followed by dilatation and curettage of the uterine cavity with the help of a blunt curate and the procedure is done under general anesthesia so you have to basically curate or you have to use a blunt curate to scrap out the fetus from the mother's uterus that is a treatment which has to be done if the pregnancy is below 12 weeks in other condition if the pregnancy has crossed 12 weeks time limit then the management depends upon we have to initiate uterine contraction by starting oxytocin drip that is 10 units of oxytocin is added in 500 ml of normal saline and 40 to 60 drops of this solution is given to mother intravenously so when oxytocin goes into the circulation it initiates uterine contraction speeds up the uterine contraction and hence expels the baby and the placenta once the content has come out the baby and placenta has, has come out it is our responsibility to see that the baby is complete that means everything the attachments and everything has come out and if you feel that something is left out inside then we have to go for manual removal of it with the help of ovum forceps so that's all with how you manage a patient of inevitable abortion before 12 weeks and after 12 weeks So thank you so much that's all i have in today's video it's all about threatened abortion and inevitable abortion very shortly i will be coming back with other two types of abortion that is complete abortion and incomplete abortion stay home stay safe and stay tuned bye bye